opening day win for Wheaton College, I said to our football team so often this week, they said, you know, we're in for a, a hard-fought football game for two big reasons. First and foremost, because we're playing a football team that's had already played a game, and he played a game against a very good opponent in Butler University, a 1AA school that experienced a lot of success in that league last year, and they played them tough and played them extremely well, so they had that game under their belt. And then we have to go travel, and travel is not easy, especially at the Division three level with all the logistics and things that your kids got to go through and, and so on and so forth. So we had to go sit on a bus and spend a night and travel and then play a team that's already played a game and played against a good football team and played well, and uh, it made it tough. And then you had to fight the weather we, we, with that steady rain all day long. And so those three things made it a tough thing, besides the fact that Albion's a good football team. they got a lot of tradition there, and, and Coach Rundle runs a good program. And, and so it was a big win for us. It was a real good win. We did some good things, and and uh, and excited about it. Now at the same time, uh, there were some things that disappointed me. Uh, I, I thought we left some points on the board. I thought we had a few mental errors. Penalties were just huge, and whether they were good calls or not is irrelevant. They were called, and uh, and so I thought that was that was disappointing. Um, you know, the thing I thought that was the the toughest thing to swallow was so many times we we shot ourselves in the foot with with a penalty, with a missed tackle, with a broken assignment. Uh, I, I thought the game potentially could have been a bigger score than it was. Uh, I think if you look at the stats, I just, just got done looking at them, and I think we had about 440 yards of offense, and, and they probably, I think they had about 170, and, and, uh, and you know, we ran off more plays and had more time of possession, and, and I, it, it wasn't necessarily really indicative of the score to indic indicate the, the disparity there. and, and uh, but anyhow, regardless, we got to win. I think there's some things we can clean up. I really do. Uh, Rocky Ging had a great day for us. We can't carry him 36 times, though, every game. 360 carries in a year, not going to get it done. I mean, not going to last. So we got we to gotta, we gotta rest him a little bit more and get some other kids in the game. And, and obviously, when the weather's not quite what it was, we'll hopefully have an opportunity to throw the football a little bit more and, and balance ourselves out a little bit. We want to run the ball, but at the same time, we got to have a little bit more balance in our offense, I think. Uh, defensively, I thought we did a nice job. They have a good running back. Number 30 is a great player. Uh, kid averaged almost 10 yards a carry last year. Had several games over 200 yards. Had a 300-yard game. Set a conference rushing record as a freshman. A uh, kid can play. He really can. And uh, I thought we did a great job on him. Just a just a great job on him. And and, uh, uh, and you know the other thing I did, I thought we pressured their quarterback well. So it's a good day for us. It was a good day for Wheaton football and. The other thing that happens when you travel, you get to go on the road and spend some time together. We had our football chapel uh, in a little intimate environment there. That was really a positive thing. Our kids lived together for 48 hours, and that was a positive thing. So, you know, you get a win and you add everything up, and I'll take it any time. And so it was, it was a good day for Wheaton football. We got to play a good football team next week in University of Wisconsin, Platteville. They, uh, they play in a phenomenal league. They play great competition. They're well coached. So we got a work cut out for us. So pray for us this week, and we'll go to work.